been a while let's get to it let's break this down so me and Bryce Bryce Hanson everybody hard knocks kid of the day yeah so uh, let's break it down hammerlock first the basic hammerlock you should learn this basically driving in on the shoulder elbow over elbow grabbing the wrist now we're gonna step across with our left and then go underneath the arm when now that's our hammerlock position we've gone over this multiple times Want to make sure that the the, shoulder, the arm is at waist level, no higher. Want to make sure that we have it there just because of shoulders and because if we're really wanting to work it, it looks like we're really working it then, right? So we're going to keep it at the waist level. Now, from here, it usually has a grip, my left thumb on his left thumb. But we're going to switch it and put our hand, right hand there, chest is nice and tight, grabbing his, uh, his bicep with our left. So we're grabbing his left bicep with our left hand on the inside. As we drive down, we stay nice and tight, dropping the left knee first, because you stay nice and tight that way. So as we come in, nice and solid. Now we're in position, keep that hammerlock with both hands. As we pull down on that bicep, we come back and we switch back to a hammerlock position with the thumb. So now I have left on left. That way I don't lose it when he reverses, because here we go, I have it here, he knows now to shoot those legs out so he sits on his bum. Hey, if you enjoyed what you're seeing with all the techniques and all the fundamentals we go through, are you looking for more content? Well, join us on memberships. Subscribe today. Way more stuff. Check it out. Don't want to be on your belly ever. You want to be able to skirt around so you're in position. Once we're here, we're going to feed our head so he has something to anchor off. He pushes off his heels. He comes up. He's gonna break his elbow at my elbow, so he breaks that away and then goes underneath. Wham, now he's got me in a hammerlock. So now this is the reverse drop to hold. This one's a little bit more difficult. It's, it takes a while to get. What you wanna do is step and be able to see his toes or be close to his toes on his left leg. We always work the left. As we do, we're gonna to turn to the left, dropping our right knee down. As we drop the right knee down and lean forward, our, our left leg, our, our left leg is going to catch the back of him at the back of his knee. So in this position here, catch nice and high at the bend of the knee. Once we are there in this position, this gets in the way a lot with a lot of pro wrestlers because now you're tangled up. You're tangled with this knee here. What I would suggest you do is you use it as a prop. So if you want, grab the, if the heel's there, grab it. Once you're there, elbow over the body, over the waist, right here. So as you roll through, you stay on the body to the arm. Once we're on the arm, I'm gonna grab the wrist over the top with my right hand as he starts to stand up. I'm gonna underhook on his tricep close to the armpit, leaning on him so that I have maintain control. So as you come up in this position here, I'm maintaining control on him. Okay, so as we're here, what uh, the proper way to do an arm ringer is instead of twisting underneath the body, what we do is we step left to left. My left foot is gonna go right beside his left foot, nice and tight. Boom, right here in this position. As soon as we step, grab that wrist with both hands. You're not Hercules, grab with both hands over the head. See, no twist needed, we're in position. Once we're in position here, he's of course gonna turn away, see, he knows. He knows that in a fight, you would never give your back. So he's gonna to turn towards me in this position. What I'm gonna do is pick this arm up, put my shoulder underneath his armpit, because now I got him again. In this position, I have him. I'm gonna step back, and then as I lunge for like a normal snapmare, dropping my right knee, lunging my left ahead, he's gonna take the bump over the top. Maintaining control of the wrist. That is your spot of the day, working the arm, Check it out, try it out. Hey, if you have any comments, give me comments. Uh, members, members on the other side of this, stick around, we got more to it.